is going on everyone? I know it's been a little while since I've made a video, but I have a really cool and exciting new product for you guys. Um, it's my new Luma Fade transition pack, but what's different about this compared to anything out there or that I've previously done, it's, it's completely customizable with a whole bunch of really cool features. So I'm going to walk you guys through what exactly you can do with this Luma Fade transition, um, and I think you're really going to enjoy it. I definitely think the Luma Fade is one of the coolest transitions out there. Um, I know it's been done quite a bit, but it is super cool um, and super versatile as well. So you can use it in lots of different shots. So of all the controls, there are six different controls that you can use with all of these transitions. Number one is soften. You can drag this up if you want to increase the softness of the Luma Fade transition. So depending on the shot and depending on what's in it, like for this example, with all the sharp edges, it's nice to soften that up a little bit. Similar to soften is you can use the erode tool and that sort of just smooths up the edge a little bit, but doesn't add any feather to it. Next one is the Luma mix. So this is actually the opacity of the Luma fade transition, which I think can actually be really cool if you wanna keyframe this to come in a little bit slower. Um, it can just create a little bit more of a seamless, smooth transition. The next one is the RGB mix, and in order for this, you need to add some RGB amount. So with the RGB amount, you can create an RGB split or a glitch effect. So just by keyframing this, you can add in the glitch, and then what the RGB mix is going to allow is for you to dial back the opacity on that RGB amount. So you can still have a really widespread RGB effect, but it's just not going to be as apparent. So like that's 100% on the RGB mix, and then if you dial that back quite a bit, you will get sort of a cool ghost effect, which I think looks really cool. The next one that you can play with is the shrink and expand tool of the Luma. So depending on your shot, you can sort of bring that in or expand it out of the Luma fade. So those are the controls, guys. It's really cool. Um, and it gives you a lot of room to play with and sort of make this transition your own. So included in this pack, there are four different transitions. There's the Luma Fade Black transition. I'm just going to reset these and I can show you guys what everything looks like. So this is the Luma Fade White transition. So as you can see, is the white part of the shot fades out first and then the blacks fade out afterwards. So the opposite of that is going to be the Luma Fade Black transition, where if we bring this in, the blacks of the clip drop off first, and then the whites will follow in after. The next two are based off of Sam Colder's My Year 2016 video. Um, I've released these ones before for free, so there are free versions out there that aren't customizable. So if you want, um, check out my other videos for that. So for the reverse Luma Fade is what's going to happen is the whites of the second clip are going to come in first and then the rest of the clip is going to follow suit after. So this is where the building light sort of shot in and it looks really cool if you have sort of a nighttime scene to deal with. So for this one, the whites will come in of the second shot and sort of shoot across the sky and then the rest of the clip will come in over top. So it's different from a lot of the Luma Fades that you'll see out there because it's sort of the reverse of the second clip coming in first. And for the reverse Luma White is all the whites are going to be gone and the blacks are going to come in first of the second clip. So as you can see, we start off at our first clip and then the blacks will come in and take over the clip and then the whites are going to come in afterwards. So those are the four transitions. I have the link in the description if you guys want to go pick this up. It's only $2 for all these four customizable transitions. And I've put a lot of work into it this week, so I hope you guys go out and buy it, and I know you're going to enjoy it. Thank you guys for all the support, and I'll see you guys next time.